uh, there were four rounds. The first one was uh, written, uh, in which was divided into four parts, uh, three parts. Uh, the first one was agriculture, uh, in which the questions of the farm sector were asked. Then uh, there is a technical part and the logical aptitude part, in which uh, after which the 20 people are selected, 12 from mechanical, 8 from electrical. And then the, these 20 people were given a group task. Uh, in the group task, uh, there were a group of 5 to 6 people and we have to build a, a design, a vehicle, which can go from one tip to other. Okay, and we all tried, uh, after 20 minutes we have to give our uh, answers, and but no one succeeded because the answer was uh, just a simple road pay. Uh, which can uh, easily move from one way to other because there was a, they, he didn't mention that it was a car, it, he mentioned that it was just a vehicle. Okay. The second group task was, uh, we all 20 people were given a situation that uh, there is a plane in which uh, 6 people were there, uh, 5 are from varied profession like a teacher, doctor, engineer etc. And there is also one child. Uh, and then we all have to discuss and uh, give a solution that the plane was about to crash and there are only 4 parachutes, whom you, are, you will save. So we argued a lot for at least 15 minutes and then we have to come to a consensus but we failed. And the HR then he asked uh, that you must come to a consensus but we then again failed. So this is the end of this session. Then after which there wasn't, wasn't any elimination but there, uh, then individually the HR called us and, and this is the third round in which he asked about that uh, are you flexible to travel in any part of the country uh, for various business uh, and technical purposes for the industry. So uh, from my side I said that yes I am uh, very flexible and then he asked about my hobbies and then we left. Okay, uh, the final round which was the personal interview. So in, in this uh, 8 people from mechanical and 6 from electrical were finally selected and we were asked to come to RIET college which is in Jaipur for the interview. Okay, uh, the first question which was asked to me that uh, uh, what is the meaning of your name, the Malik Basim. So I just said that Basim means uh, good deeds, Niki in Hindi. So he was quite impressed by the answer. Okay, uh, the second question was asked to me that uh, in my photograph which was pasted on my resume that uh, why you look, look so healthy in this photograph. Uh, so I uh, uh, said him that uh, I was fasting in Ramzan a few months ago and uh, also the menstrual was not quite good so that I can recover. So uh, that's why that's the reason. Okay, uh, then he asked me about, uh, tell me about yourself. So I uh, told him about my qualifications, uh, uh, my schooling, uh, the one year which I dropped in Kota, about my family, my hobbies, my extracurricular activities in which I was involved in uh, college. Uh, then uh, he just uh, interfered and asked the other questions. Okay, uh, as he was uh, going through my CV, he asked that uh, you were, you had an educational trip and Maruti Suzuki in Gurugaon. So he asked me about the various manufacturing processes. So I explained the all processes on a piece of paper. Okay, then he uh, started asking me questions about my internship. Uh, first he asked about the internship in uh, Hindustan Zinc, uh, which is in uh, Chandi, uh, Chitorgarh. So uh, I told him about the what what is uh, there in that plant. It's uh, basically it's melting plant. Then uh, his next question was that uh, how they control the uh, pollution over there. So I just explained him what's the procedure there. Uh, then he asked that what uh, you uh, astonishing about the internship, and about the plant. So I told him that uh, what we have studied in theory, when we look at it in practical, that's the most uh, astonishing thing that we I can see. Okay, the most important question which was then asked that are you comfortable enough to be posted in Chennai because at that time there were 700 vacancies there. Uh, there is a R&D plant in Chennai uh, which they call TPDS, Technology, Product Development and Sourcing. So they were, you know, we know that uh, most probably you will be posted in Chennai. So I uh, answered that yes. So he asked them uh, uh, why because the climate is very different, the people are very different, the language problem is there. So how can you adjust? So I just answered in front that yeah, we Indians are very lucky people, there won't be any problem. So he said that yeah, that's quite good. Okay, uh, he asked me that why your CGP is so low. Uh, then uh, So I answered that I know that I am an average student and uh, I have 
also, I had also been involved in various uh, extracurricular activities which I had in our college. So, but I also know that my potential is, I have the potential, I can do much better. So there won't be any problem. Then we uh, asked about uh, the future uh, plans which I have. So at that point, I wasn't sure. So I uh, straightforwardly said that I'm not sure at that time. But yeah, uh, in future, I would try to be an entrepreneur. Okay, now uh, certain tips uh, which you can know, you must know. Uh, in the return, they ask about the general questions on cars. For example, what is the logo of certain company? They give four options. Uh, such kinds of things because a, a car a bike enthusiast can easily answer those questions. So you can have, you must interact with other guys which are, which know about the cars, which regularly follow the uh, magazines, the car magazine like auto car etc. So you can uh, uh, easily solve those questions. And uh, secondly, if you have done any project in uh, automobile sector, for example Baha, so there are uh, greater chances of uh, your uh, selection. But then uh, you must uh, have the complete knowledge because they will be, uh, they will ask in depth. Okay, important tip. Uh, if you are asked uh, that in which department you want to go, and if you are saying R&D, please don't do it. Because they don't have any R&D, they call it TPDS, uh, Technology Product Development Sourcing. Beware of it, that might go in uh, negative or negative, negative point.